Hey, what's up, Brotherhood Channel? It's your Wednesday guy, Kai, here. We're going to have to do this kind of interesting angle because my hair is not in a, a way I want to present it on YouTube. But anyways, <laughs> um, I'm about to go to bed, so it's kind of like got out of the shower and like it's wet and it was wet and then it dried. That's kind of more the problem that it dried the way it did. And, um... Yeah, I didn't feel like putting anything on it because I don't like sleeping with any kind of like product in my hair, so it's just kind of like, yeah, so we're going to work with this angle today if that's okay with you guys. <sighs> sorry this, uh, well first of all, sorry this video's late, uh, on top of just having super tons of work, got a little snack, on top of having just like super amounts of work do in school and stuff recently I had kind of like a weird headache thing going on Wednesday so I wasn't able to get my video up but still wanted to get this uh, video up and talk a little bit about this topic I'm gonna try to keep this video a little bit shorter cuz I'm currently like in the middle of doing homework I just did just finish some homework and I have to do a little bit more tonight before I go to bed and it's already 1 a.m. so I'm gonna try not to talk too long about this I'm gonna try to like consolidate it all so We'll see how that goes, because sometimes I tend to just ramble on anyways, but yes, anyways, this week's topic was feeling not trans enough, and basically two things I will say about this to keep it kind of hopefully short and sweet is, first, I don't think there is such a thing as not trans enough. Even just being like transgender itself and stuff is like a label that has been given to a category of people who don't really fit the gender binary in like society the way that gender set up in society right now currently and even in different cultures there's different words for it and different ways of looking at it so as far as like not being trans enough I think at the end of the day people are just people and labels at all are kind of like like, not, they, they, we put too much meaning on them and stuff, not to say that, that it's not okay to label yourself as trans or anything, or not trans, because personally, I obviously identify as trans, and there's definitely a great thing in finding people who are kind of like you, and have kind of a similar mindset, and, and see things the way you do, and have experienced similar things, and that's where, like, the trans community comes in and stuff, and so I don't want to say, like, don't label yourself as trans, like, I just think that if you find, um, comfort within the trans community, if you find, like, similar experiences that you can relate to, if you find friends, or whatever, and you're kind of, like, you're kind of, like, questioning your gender identity or like not really fitting generally into what society expects for a certain gender or whatever you were assigned at birth or however you look at that then you know I think that's great explore the transgender community see if it's a place you fit into see if being trans is something that you like kind of identify with and if you do and you feel that within yourself, then no matter what else, I think you're trans enough because um, that's just kind of how I see it. I mean, I can talk more about that if anybody has questions or wants to talk more with me about that, then feel free. But basically my point is it's it's like a self-identifying thing and it's based on like so many different like contexts and stuff for culture and, and your life and all that stuff. So... If anyone says you're not trans enough and you truly feel you're trans and stuff, then, um, you know, don't worry about those people. That's just their closed-mindedness and their kind of, like, view of things, and that shouldn't affect you and how you see yourself. Um, mostly being trans is just kind of figuring out who you are and how you identify and where you fit into the whole concept of, like, gender and stuff in the context of how your culture and your society views those things so yeah I think that's all that you really need to be trans is to feel like you are and feel like 
you identify with the community and even if you don't really identify with everyone in the, everyone's experience in the community you know just finding some comfort within that label within that title within that kind of place in the world I guess I don't see a problem with that that's just me personally I know people have different opinions on that stuff but yeah second thing I'll say just briefly is that even myself personally I've dealt with feelings of being unsure or questioning if I'm really trans and stuff especially before I transitioned uh, I just you know there was definitely periods of time where I was like is this for me is this is this what is this the name of what I've been feeling and what I've been kind of like experiencing in life and stuff and then even now even being post transition I have moments where I think of things and I'm like I mean it's really honestly difficult to talk about because it's like scary like you don't want as someone who's fought so hard for like people to recognize my identity as male and stuff like that it's hard to talk about doubting things because you don't want to give people any reason to say that well I don't want to give people any reason to say that uh, I'm not male or I'm not truly trans and stuff but if I'm like being completely 100% honest and I think it's all comes back to just kind of figuring out your place and where you fit in there's definitely been times where I question like was top surgery right for me and I ultimately always come back to yes it was but as someone who um, had a lot of uh, sexual enjoyment uh, I had a girlfriend like before I transitioned and we had a really good sexual relationship um, and who wasn't like super uncomfortable in that context with, with certain parts of my body. I question like, is my experience valid within the trans community and stuff like that? And um, yeah, there's just being like kind of, I mean, I was one of the most masculine female identified people before I realized I was trans that I knew but after coming out trans I'm one of the more feminine masculine people if that makes any sense masculine I guess feminine male males I know like I'm one of the more feminine males I know and not the most feminine male I know but I'm definitely like kind of on the other side of that scale so it's like kind of figuring out okay like what, how how does this all work? How does this fit into my identity and being trans and stuff like that? Feelings about my body and dysphoria. Um, not completely like hating my birth name. I don't call it like a dead name or anything like that. Uh, I really just changed it because it was very feminine and it would out me. Uh, people would think I was male until they heard my name. And so I felt like I needed to change it. But I really didn't hate my birth name I don't mind people knowing it and like since this these are kind of things that sometimes you don't hear a lot within the trans community or like there's a different narrative that's um, often portrayed in the trans community around those topics of body and top surgery and birth names or dead names and being masculine and feminine and all that stuff it can sometimes lead to these questions of like did I do the right thing? Did I make the right decision? And then I just think, this is my life. This is my experience. Whatever version of trans or male that I'm living, that's good enough. Like, that is my version of being trans. That's my version of being male. And that's okay. Everyone has different life experiences and stuff like that. So, again, I could probably talk so much about this, but I'm going to keep it kind of... I mean, it's like nine minutes, so it's not that short, but kind of shorter than I probably could make it and kind of leave things there. But uh, sorry, I kind of sped through those things and stuff. Basic takeaways are one that I don't think there is such a thing as not being trans enough, but it's totally okay to question that sometimes and like kind of, I mean, like I've questioned that. I just think ultimately, I hope that everyone settles on like, knowing that whatever their story is, whatever their experience is, to get to the point of identifying as trans or whatever, like, that that's good enough. I, I uh, value that and I recognize that and I think it's all valid. Um, yes, so anyways guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully I'll be on time next week. I'm going to try really hard to, but I got a lot going on, including a, a presentation I'm super nervous about on Wednesday. So, yeah. Anyways, 
I will see you all next week. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Always almost forget to say stay strong, stay safe, and stay you.